So with with a uh, with a boss, I mean, at work you need to transcend with transcend people. You don't need to like avoid them. You transcend them. So what you transcend is is the the hooks that take you out. Okay. So there's a number of ways you can transcend. So like I always talk about my mother. So I wanted to transcend my mother, not never to see her again. So you've got to find out that what are the what are the things that she can do that will uh, that tend to uh, take you out. Do you understand what I say? Want to take yeah, you out? Yeah. You know, trigger you is another way. So okay, her facial expressions could trigger me. Her um, her, her language, the, the words she used could trigger me. Um, you know. So also. Uh, so you have to transcend those. So how do you transcend those? Well, you could, first of all, I aim it. If you want to transcend a person or a situation, like a work situation, then you have to like find out all the things in those situations that trigger you and transcend every single trigger till they can no longer press your button. So whatever it is, and, you have to, and so that can be a lot of work. But, you know, and how long did it take me to transcend my mother? About five years. Because there was a lot of stuff... Yeah you know, a lot of things that she could, you know, is she still able to press that button? Mm -hmm. And, and until, until she can still press that button, you have no effect, has no effect on you, haven't transcended it. So to transcend it means you want 100%, you know, like it would be like if you're in the observer and you're in the witnesser, she can make any facial expression, use any choice of words, do anything, uh, and still, you'll still remain in the witnesser, in that grounded, serene, peaceful state. Nothing she can do or say or whatever. So with a boss, I mean, you can also like visualize what's the worst case scenario. Like, what if your boss said, okay, you're lousy, you're useless, and you're fired. You know, uh, you know. You got, well, even if they haven't said that, but if you're afraid of that as a potential future trigger, you have to transcend <coughs> all the potential triggers that, that you've got in your psyche mm -hmm. that uh, could happen. So you're transcending the, the current triggers and the projected triggers you think may do until there's nothing they can do that can trigger you. Now, you know, if they can, if they, if they, are, if at the end of a day of work or during a period of work, you know, that you, you're having a huge way, uh, lots of feelings coming up, if you can take a toilet break for 10 minutes and just sit with your feelings, or if you get triggered out, go to the toilet and just get into the observer state and just try and go back into the office and see how long you can maintain being in the witnesser before they pull you out. Every time you get pulled out, you have to ask why. What did they say? Well, what kind of facial expression did they have? Did they, you know, did they threaten to fire you? Whatever it is. So you need to be able to transcend. So, like, let's say I'm worried about my boss saying you're fired. You're useless. I didn't realize you were that crap. You're fired. <laughs> so, so, you know, Hawkins talks about, you know, it's, to make it easier, try and transcend the, the worst case scenarios first. Because you know, if you transcend the worst case scenarios first, then it's going to make e the smaller stuff, e you don't have to even transcend them because you'll transcend them. Because usually it's like, well, if he thinks I haven't done a good day's work, then he'll do that, and then he'll do that, and then he'll fire me. Mm. So if you transcend, he's going to fire me first, then that's, that's going to save a lot of work. So, okay. Everything in between. Yeah, it's going to save a lot of things because usually the things in between are, if, he do, if he, he's worried about those in between things, you're really worried about that deeper, yeah. at a deeper level because yeah. he'll fire you. And then if he fires you, you won't have any money. And then no one will hire you ever again. And then you'll be homeless. And then you'll starve to death or something like that, you know. So you want to, like, so you want to bring up. So as you, you know, as, a, as a hypnotherapist, I say, like, bring up the worst case scenario, picture it in your mind, visualize it. You're fired, and then you're on the street, and then you're dying. And then let all those feelings come up and feel them out. Or do, you know, my boss is as meaningless as what, or be in the observer every time you go into fear. Be in the observer of the fear, be in the observer of your story. And then you'll find each time you do these spiritual exercises, or do the Course in Miracles, pray for a miracle to see him differently, uh, you know, you find that each time they trigger you, you get less of a reaction and less of a reaction. Then after a few months of working on transcending, then you start to see he'll say the same thing and you won't be triggered. And then, and then make sure you get through all the triggers and then you transcend, you know, being at work. And 
what I've found, and nearly everyone I've, I've, I've uh, been, you know, sh I've had people do, is that when you try and send the triggers in yourself, quite often miracles will happen. Like I found, like, I had a loving relationship with my mother. I've heard people share in this room about how they've transcended, you know, done a lot of forgiveness work, done a lot of transcending work of in, in, in uh, career situations, and miracles do happen when you do the inner work, which is what I was saying before. As you, as you let go of the triggers, you activate miracles and synchronicities, which take care. Whereas if you don't do the inner work and you try and resolve situations, situations often are quite stuck. So, um, so that's the thing I would do at work, transcend, transcend, you know, take opportunities. My mission, with, my, my mission in life is to transcend this world. That's enlightenment. So transcending, you don't have to, that doesn't have to be yours. But it means that I don't want, if I have triggers come up that trigger me, or higher powers that are revealed to me, I want to be placed in a position of neutrality around them. I don't want, you know, so I want 100% to be in neutrality, not 90%. So that's quite, that's for me is quite exciting. You know, and I think as well, if you look at, and I also see, you know, to sort of, um, uh, you know, put the thing of spiritual work in, you know, like, uh, if you look at the work of Dr. Dr. Hugh Len, you know, he's the guy who, like, through forgiveness work, cleared out a, 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 vile, a whole prison of stuff just by doing the work on the inside, you know, clearing the data, clearing his perceptions of how they, you know, oh, this is a violent criminal, this person likes axe murdering, but just by clearing his data, forgiving them, releasing his perceptions of them having done wrong, everyone got well in that prison. So. Hence, the, you don't recognize the power of doing the inner work. So when you're holding on to, also, you know, the Course in America, and I also believe this, and, you know, it's, we're all one. So when you hold on to, when you hold on to resentment and anger against another individual, on some level, maybe not consciously, on some level they know it. Mm -hmm. So when you, go to your when you go to your boss and you, you, you try and pretend to be nice, but deep down you, you want to kill them, you know, it's like, well, you know, it, it has some bearing on that conversation with them. Whereas when you've completely, like, gone to a place of forgiveness, like I shared in my book, there was a lady I had a tr trouble with in a, in a spiritual group, and then finally, the day I, I thought that I'd forgiven her, I went to the group and she came up to me and said, Sabir, you taught me a great lesson, but I just need to let you know I'm leaving the country. <laughs> so that was what happened. It's like, as your vibration increases, you know, uh, the miraculous happens. Either the, either you become friends with them or God will take them to another country or something happens, you know. Mm. Something miraculous happens in that way.